Hello guys, Chris here. Welcome back to another video. And Digimon is in the camera recording right now. Say hi to the viewers. Hello guys. How you doing? I'm fine. Not you, the you viewers. Know. Oh, just, okay. Just wait for them to answer. <laughs> yeah, this is the RX 570, by the way. As you can see here, it's the Pulse ITX version. The cooler is a bit corroded, as you can see down there. And yep, it's just been dying slowly but surely for the past two weeks or something like that. And now I just, it's time for the heat treatment on it, you know? Let's open it up, clean it from dust and from actually, I don't really care about the dust, it's not too dusty, but uh, clean it from the thermal paste. And then we are gonna go ahead and try the hairdryer thing again in it because that, that worked last time. <laughs> yeah, that worked with the H7870. It's been working fine for like two or three months since I made that video. And this one is behaving like similarly to that. It just crashes sometimes, black screens, and it has some artifacting sometimes, not always though. So it's it's kind of in a better position or in a better state than the 7870. Yeah, it's just not able to finish a benchmark run. I've tried multiple times to make the Fortnite video on it and it wasn't just gonna happen. So yeah, this is the last resort. If this doesn't work, I'll have to buy a new one. Why so many? <laughs> <laughs> what? This is not so many actually. I thought it had like four or something. It's so small. <laughs> Uh, uh, won't run away from me, RX570. You're gonna get the heat treatment, don't you worry. You've been failing too much at your only task, which is work like three times per month to record a video. Okay, so this thing is out. Can we? Okay, nice. All right, so that's the first part of the cooler, just a plastic little thing with the fan on it. This is the cooler itself, as you can see. It's very, very corroded because of mining, you know. Yeah, I uh, should probably not have bought this in this state, but it was the cheapest thing that I could find. And yeah, it worked at the time, like a year ago, so yeah. Let's go ahead and clean it up with some toilet paper and alcohol, which is 96% uh, alcohol, so as you can see there. And that's just for cleaning the thermal paste out of the dye and out of the cooler, of course. We don't need really to clean the corrosion over here. I'm not really sure how I will do that, so I tried, actually. It was in a worse state when I bought it, believe it or not. I have some pictures in the Instagram page, if you guys want to check that out. Okay, so that's probably enough for the cooler. And now the GPU die gets the same treatment. That's too much thermal paste. God damn it. It's gonna take a while, guys, so yeah, I'm just, you know. Alright, guys, it's cleaned up, as you can see. Take a look at it. The beautiful, beautiful die with the little stain over there. I'm not really sure why that is. I tried to wipe it off, but it didn't come out. So we're just gonna pick it up and try the hair dryer on it. As you can see, guys, we have this contraption right here. There we go. Now we gotta count like uh, 23 minutes, just as before. The thing is, the weather isn't as good as before. Before it was like 33 degrees Celsius, and now it's like 17. <laughs> so maybe like 30 minutes should be fine. Let's see. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Look at them. In the last video we had a cat, and now we have some goose. This goose is goose. Geese. Geese? Okay, I have no idea how to... Okay. Come here. Here they come, guys. Come outside. Hello. Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. It's beautiful. It's gonna work, guys. I'm feeling it. It is gonna work. Leg reveals! Leg reveals! Leg re... 
All right, guys, so 30 minutes have passed and I waited a little bit for it to cool down. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit here in the dye. And now, guys, it's time for us to use the best thermal paste ever. It's actually the cheapest one that I could find. We have nothing to lose here with the RX 570, so let's just use the cheapest thermal paste that I have over here. So, yeah, I'm not gonna use the Noctua stuff here. It's not really needed. I just want to know if it works. And then I'll sell it to CEX. No, wait. <laughs> Just spreading it here in the die because you actually have to cover the entire die in GPUs. It's not needed in CPUs. This way. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's a little bit of a Linus moment over here. Okay, now connecting the fan here again. All right. Okay. Wait a second. It came off of its place. It's right there. Yep. Okay. The cable goes through there. So, all right. And we are good now. Just lining it up with the screws and we can screw it in. Now, the last thing to do is to install it in your computer. Your, our computer. <laughs> Let's go. Come over here. We got the 1650 in there. Last GPU that I tested. Here we go, GTX 1650, look at that, so beautiful. Mini ITX version, doesn't require any power connectors from the power supply. RX 570, I can't see anything. Okay, we're good here. Plug in the six pin here, HDMI port. And let's see if it works, guys. Moment of truth. Let's see. If it doesn't work, it's broken, and if it does work, it might break in like in the middle of a game or something. So, yep. Let's see if it displays an image at least. Yep. Okay. So it's still working after 30 minutes of heat treatment, as you can see. Let's see if it actually rec recognizes the drivers and stuff like that. And if it does, I'm gonna try to record the Fortnite video on it in DirectX 12, and then. We will know in the next video that you see after this one, if it isn't about the RX 570 in Fortnite DirectX 12, well, that means that the RX 570 isn't actually working still. So, yep, see you soon, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video about the heat treatment in the RX 570 and just cleaning it up and stuff like that. So, yeah, gonna head out of here. It recognizes the drivers, I think. As you can see, yep, still working fine over here. And yeah, see you soon, guys. Thank you for watching. Love you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.